I and we are surviving Frozen in real life in Iceland, where we will have to be characters from both Frozen movies and solve clues to find out a huge secret. We're in Iceland! You guys, we were sent to Iceland by Mr. Gold via the creepy doll. If you remember from our last video, what is that? we got that creepy doll and we tried to get rid of it. It kept coming back. And not only did it come back, it came back with airplane tickets and a card from Mr. Gold that said, this is all you'll need. The only clue that we got from Mr. Gold is that Anna and Kristoff have to find Grandpappy Troll in the Golden Circle. Mr. Gold, Golden Circle, the thing is, is that the Golden Circle is huge. It makes sense that this is where we have to find Grandpappy Troll because look at these stones behind me. This looks like the trolls from Frozen. And I was doing some research and it turns out a lot of Frozen was based in Iceland. But I mean, we're not gonna find an actual troll, right? I mean, trolls don't exist, right? This is crazy. If you look behind me, this looks like the river and the waterfall that Anna and Olaf went down in Frozen 2. We're doing this quick little hike up to these waterfalls to try to find what we're looking for. And uh, I'm not sure if it's up here, but Hopefully we're getting a little closer. Grandpappy troll! Grandpappy! I don't know if I'm looking for a person that's dressed up like a troll or if I'm looking for an actual troll. We hiked all the way up to this amazing waterfall! There's still no sign of anyone that looks like a troll. There's literally nothing. I'm, I, wait, I'm wait, wait, going... Look, right here. Look! What? This is like, dude, someone must have planted that. That means Mr. Gold must be somewhere around here. There's a street coming out. There's a note inside. Let's go read it. To get away from the waterfall because it was really loud, but there's a note inside of Grandpappy Troll. In addition to surviving frozen in real life, you must find gifts to give to the four guardians of Iceland. Bring them to the Hallgrim Skurga. I didn't say that right. Church at the end of your trip. If they find them acceptable, you will be rewarded with a secret of your past. Of my Let me best? see that one. Your best? So we have to just find some gifts, but we don't don't have any other clues. I thought we were surviving Frozen, but now we also have to get gifts. Our hotel for day two is in this geyser area, and look if you can see behind me, there's all these amazing geysers. I'm so glad to be out of that Frozen gear for a second, but I'm worried that I have to do even more surviving Frozen in real life in Iceland coming up tomorrow. I think I'm probably gonna be Elsa. So I guess we're just gonna go back to the hotel and try to like figure out what to do, what all this means. And whoa! Okay, we gotta get out of here. There's things literally exploding behind us. I couldn't sleep at all last night. I just had to look up everything I could about these four guardian spirits of Iceland. There's like a dragon in the east, a griffin in the north, bull in the west, and a giant in the south. These spirits are the protective guardian spirits of Iceland, and we have to get a gift specifically for each one. So we have to get a gift for each one. I don't know what to get, like maybe for the dragon, I'll get something like what? fire. What? There's nobody out there. What? It's just this nut. What does it say? It says, Lara, Frozen One Elsa, head to Joku Sarlon, more to come, signed MG. Wait, MG, Mr. Gold, Joku Sarlon, um. That's like the largest glacier in Europe. Y you don't have to be Crystal anymore, but I have to be Frozen One Elsa? I guess so. The dress is so cold. <laughs> I'm ready, let's go. Oh my gosh, you're gonna go around all of Iceland like this? I'm gonna be really cold and people are gonna look at me crazy, but let's go. We are on our way, it just started raining, and I had brought all this frozen stuff because I knew we were going to have to survive frozen. But I didn't know it was gonna be raining. And I don't wanna mess up my Elsa wig. So hopefully, Mr. Gold is just okay with my own Laura Elsa wig. I had to just stop at this amazing waterfall. The thing about this is, water has memory. You know who said that comment? Hold on. Guys, we had to stop because we found another amazing waterfall. The weird part is it's so familiar to me, but I've never been here. Have you guys ever had deja vu before? Let me know. Another waterfall, and we hiked all the way up here, and now I am drenched. This frozen in real life is very wet and messy now. Even Elsa's gotta eat, so we stopped at this soup company. And we've got these three soups. This one's brought the cheddar, mm -hmm. this is a lamb stew soup, and this one's called a lava mm -hmm. soup. So I got dry, but we got a text from Mr. Gold saying he wants me to go as Frozen Elsa to Diamond Beach. We looked up Diamond Beach, and his message said that he wants me as Frozen Elsa to film a TikTok here. I am out here dressed as Frozen One Elsa. There's this like ice stage basically set up, probably by Mr. Gold, so I'm gonna film this. Make sure you go to at Laura Hall, y'all, to watch it. Okay, let's do it and see what happens. We are defrosting. It's from a block number, it must be Mr. Gold. What does it say? It's a confirmation number for a Blue Ice Caves tour. It says, enjoy your reward. 
So we're getting rewarded for the TikTok? I mean, you should. That was crazy. I'm terrified of caves. I'm super claustrophobic. I mean, I did the sugar cane canals. If you guys saw the Hawaii video, comment and let us know. But I'm so claustrophobic. I'm so scared. We are in these ice caves and they are crazy. They're tight spaces. I'm very claustrophobic, but I just made it through the first one. Okay, you guys, this is so dark. I'm so scared of dark. Are you scared of dark? Let me know in the comments. Okay, here we go. It is so dark in these ice caves, but the weird part is this all seems really familiar. Why does it feel like I've been here before? I don't know. I think I've dreamt about it. So dark in here. Oh, gosh. Okay. These ice caves are so low. I'm so claustrophobic. Hey, gotta get his number on Would you guys do this? That's why you're. Yeah. Oh, I'm terrified. 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 Oh, I'm those caves were crazy. Is Mr. Gold trying to get me to remember a dream or something that I've had? And then we got this message, another email from an anonymous address. Uh, it was addressed to Lara and it said, get ready to show yourself as Elsa from Frozen 2. And it said, Rainus Fiara, 2.30 p.m. So we looked up Rainus Fiara. We might not be pronouncing that right. But it's the beach that they actually modeled Frozen 2 after the scene where Elsa is on the beach trying to freeze the waves right before she goes in to show yourself. We're just gonna go out there and try to figure it out and see what's going on at 2.30. I brought all my Frozen outfits, so I'm gonna wear the Frozen 2 Elsa dress from that moment. I am in the Frozen 2 Elsa look on the beach where she runs and freezes the waves. Since we're here, should we film a couple more shorts? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay. This is incredible. Wait, 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 Laura, Laura, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Go, 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 go. I think there was like some like chaos crew over there. What? Where? It looked on the other side of this rock. Let's check it out. Is there another one over here? Wait, let's go over here. What do you think they're doing here? Do they follow us to Iceland or were we sent here to spy on them? On my phone, I have like a microphone extender app. Maybe we can hear what they're saying. Okay, just don't, don't let them see you. Okay. Oh no, I think they saw us. Go, 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 go. Thinking an ornament might be good for the giant because it might warm his giant heart and remind him of Christmas. Okay, what if we get the cards? Hear me out. For the bull, because people who are bullheaded are card players. Adam, what about these? This is perfect for the griffin because he flies everywhere. He's gonna get cold feet. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do it. I don't see anything for the dragon though. Well, we gotta go. We'll have to find it later. We came to Sky Lagoon, which is just like Okinsana in Frozen. There's a whole seven step ritual, and we're here at sunset. Okay, you guys, we are here. It is our last. Iceland, we were at our last hotel and we found this note for us on this table when we got here. It says LNA and inside it says Fifth Element Elsa must deliver the gifts to discover your destiny. So we have our gifts here. We have the stockings and the ornament and the cards. Well, well, we never got a gift for the dragon. I know, we're running out of time. What if I give something of mine to the dragon? Yes, yes. It didn't say you have to buy gifts. It just said you had to present gifts. What if I give him my earrings? Whoa, 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 you love those earrings. I know, but dragons love treasure and these are gold. I mean, there's always more earrings, but... And gold, Mr. Gold. Were you able to analyze the chaos for audio? Well, there's a ton of background wind and noise and it's taking a while, it's still processing. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta get out of here. I am fifth element spirit Elsa and we are taking these gifts to see if the four guardian spirits of Iceland will accept them. We're almost at the church, let's go. There it is. Yes, I'm gonna put them here in front of the church, putting them right here. So we'll see what happens. I can't imagine what information Mr. Gold wants us to find that can only be found here in Iceland. Like, why were we sent here? Hopefully they tell us, hopefully they're Wait, wait, Laura, Laura, they're gone. What? They're gone. Wait, what is this? It's a what necklace? What is that thing? Like a medallion? How does this keep happening? Okay, there's too many people here. We have to go inspect this, come on. I mean, I, I don't know what this means. Looks like it has Viking symbols on it. Wait, yeah, you're right. Oh, hold on, there's something written on the side of it. What does it say? I think it says, Paul. 
What? Am I a descendant of Vikings? Wait, I just got a message. The file's done processing. Okay, let's find out what it says. Okay. Look, we brought her here to find out if she's the one. But don't you think they need to know? They can't trust someone on their team? But wait, do you guys even know how we got here? Let me show you. We came to the happiest place on Earth, Kauai! We're about to go hiking at, I think it's called Wailua Falls. It might be Wailaya, I'm not sure. What was that? Did you, did you ask for more towels? No. What? All those out there, it just, it's they like just sugar. sugar packets? They're cleaning the room across, but they just left sugar packets? That's weird. Do you think it was them? Your phone just went off. What? This is really weird. I got a message, a confirmation, some backcountry like sugar plantation place. Wait, okay, so wait, are these connected? I mean, I guess this is like sugar and then this came through. So weird, we're supposed to be there at 12.30, that's in an hour. Wait, what, do you think, maybe my mom set this up. Maybe, or maybe like your dad or something, maybe it's like a birthday gift. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Yeah, do they like contract someone to do that? I don't know. Oh my gosh, let's go. So we are in a lot of traffic, but we are on our way to this sugar cane. Mountain tubing. From what I found, apparently Kauai was known for its sugar exports, right? Mm -hmm. And so they had all these canals built. But this um, one's been like closed down or something. Right, and so I guess you go tubing or through these canals. Um, we haven't been able to get in touch with our parents, but we're assuming this is like a really nice birthday gift, but maybe there will be more clues when we get there. Yeah, we'll find out. You guys, we're here. We're so excited. We don't know any of these people. Maybe one of them sets us up. I don't know. We're gonna find out. You guys, they had us put on like this war paint and stuff from the walls. So crazy. Like we're heading down this, these rapids and these tubes. As you can see, like we're going pretty quickly. this location after tubing our tubes took us here we're trying to figure out what this is all about who sent us here i mean i don't know i don't know what it could be wait wait, wait laura there's like another sugar packet on the ground wait an x marks the spot that's really weird this is just like the one that was in our room try opening it see, see if there's anything inside of it it's just sugar sugar i don't know wait wait wait. wait. this looks like weird you guys this is this looks <gasps> just like we've used these before in our videos this is like a hideaway rock open it open it Oh my gosh, what is this? It's a paper. Well, what's on the paper? There's nothing. I have a bunch of pens back in my backpack. Let's use my black light pen and see if this shows up anything on the black light. Let's go. Hey, besties, we just got back in the car. I have this little piece of paper that was in the hideaway rock. I am assuming it was meant for us because there was that sugar packet, which we had in the room before. I do have in here, I don't know if this will work, but I brought a bunch of pens. One of them I happened to bring was my the caps come off it, this black light pen. So we're gonna use this light on it and see if we see anything. I don't think there is anything. Wait. What is that? Bring it over here. Can you see what that? is that? Like a fish? That's all that's on here. There's no words or anything. It's just this picture of a fish. There's nothing on the back. I don't know what that means, but um, we'll be on the lookout for a fish. What's up, besties? We are up. We are so excited. We're about to go on a hike, the hike we were going to do yesterday, the Wailua Falls hike, where we're getting some comfy and getting fueled up, ready to go. Look at these baby chicks with their mommy. What's up, you guys? So we're here at Wailua Falls, which is a beautiful, beautiful place here on the island of Kauai, and it's these twin falls, and as you can see, they are flowing year-round, absolutely gorgeous, and all of this greenery that you see is because of all the rainfall that they experience on this island. You guys, we are having such a great time. Now we we're gonna be heading to Waimea Canyon. It's on like the southwest side of the island. Are you pranking me? What? No. There's another sugar packet on the door. 
No, I did not do that. It's like glued onto the door. I promise you I did not do that. That's, this is getting really weird though. Does somebody know we were here? Did you tell anybody we were here? No. I put it on Instagram. Maybe there's like a fan. Is there any kind of anything? Hawaii? There's a phone number on the back. A phone number? Yeah, somebody wrote a phone number on the back. Okay, you guys, we're gonna Google this phone number. So you guys, we Googled that number and it is a whale watching tour. So we called it. There is a reservation with our name on it. Like already paid. It's at 1.30. It's in Poipu on the south side of the island. I mean, that must have been like a whale on that other sugar packet. I guess it's leading to this. I don't know. We're just going to go with it. Go check it out. Okay, you guys, we are here at the whale watching tour. Our reservation was here. We are so excited. We're about to see some whales, maybe find some more clues. But most importantly, we're going to see some whales. on this paper and I started looking at it and it's like dots and dashes and I thought well you know what dots and dashes is kind of like Morse code right so I pulled up this Morse code translator and I punched it in I tried to get it exactly like this this is what it sounds like that's so weird. And so when you put all that in, it says Waimea. Which, which is the canyon that we were going to go to yesterday. And so we started getting interrupted in all this. We're going back to the spot that we were going to go, Waimea Canyon. It's our last day, so maybe yeah. this is the end of this scavenger hunt. Maybe we'll find out who's leaving us these clues. I hope so. <laughs> we are on our way to Waimea Canyon. As you can see, these views are beautiful, but the roads are steep. It is kind of scary getting up here. We're here, it's probably about 70 degrees now. Feels great, having a great time. Look how beautiful this canyon is. Oh my gosh. Okay, Bessie, so I'm going to be looking in this water because all that moisture stuff there was why I made. So you can see in this red clay waterfall. So muddy, it's like clay. Apparently this is known for having all this red clay that you don't see anything. Nothing. Okay, let's keep going. This is really weird. I just got this text message. I don't even have service up here. And yeah, it's, from it's crazy. An unknown number. And it says, you've had some fun. It's been a pleasure. Now go and collect your treasure, which- like, sounds, What does that mean? Know, it sounds like kind of cool, but also it's kind of weird. Why is anyone even giving us treasure? It said to do so at the Iliao Nature Loop. Yeah, we plugged it into our GPS. So now we're here because otherwise we just knew Waimea Canyon. So this narrows it down a little to the Iliao Nature Loop. Yeah, so let's go figure it out. Okay. This has got to be meant for us. They said treasure. It's got to be like somewhere in here. Okay, just start looking. Like, look it in there. I don't see anything obvious. It's getting like tight on these trees. Anything? No. That looks weird. Wait a second. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. Adam, there's so much money in here. Are you serious? Oh my God. What else? There's so much money. Just money? <gasps> this got to be like. Are you serious? There's a note, it says AL. It says, hold on to this until you hear from me again. What? I don't wanna just hold on to this money. I, okay, I hold thought on. it was gonna be treasure uh, for us. There's one more thing in here. What is it? It's like this little pocket watch, but the back's coming off. There's something on the back. It says Vegas 4-3-2022. Adam, we're going to Vegas for the Grammys. It's like they oh know we're going on April 3rd. Oh my gosh, so we're supposed to take that with us there? I don't know, I, I guess so. Wait, this is so weird. There's somebody like watching us. We gotta follow them. It's probably the person that left the treasure. Let's go. Oh my god, we got that. Come back here. Come here. Who are you? Are they gone? Okay. They're nowhere? I don't know where. Wait, what's this? What is this? Did they drop that? This is a mask. I think this is what I think you were wearing this when I first saw them. It's like a Mardi Gras mask. It's like a it's like a chaos crew mask, but it's like gold. I guess they dropped it. There's, there's nothing written on it or anything. Who is this? I don't know. I guess we'll have to figure out in Vegas. 
We are about to go to the Grammys. We don't know what we're supposed to do with the $10,000, but they told us we needed to bring it to Vegas. So we have all of the money here. I am so uncomfortable having this much money, you guys. I don't know what to do. We're about to go to the Grammys and leave our room. I guess we'll put it in the safe. What do you think, Adam? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the best spot to put it. So, so just throw it in there. We'll put it in the safe and then... Wait, there's something already in here. Wait, what? Are you serious? What, what is that? Is what is that thing? I have no idea what this is. It looks like some kind of coder. We don't have Gosh. time for this. We gotta go to the Grammys right now. I know. What do you think? Just put it, put it back in there. We'll deal with it later. Wait, hold on. I just got an email. The email is a voice memo. It came from an email address called Anonymous Owl. Anonymous? That's all it says? Yeah. Let's listen to it. Okay. Lauren and Adam, you must take the money to the Grammys where my associate will meet you and take it. You will be in a red suit. The game begins near the Hunger Games exhibit. You will be rewarded for doing so. If you need help, look to the pink twins. Okay, so we have to find some guy in a red suit, but Adam, I'm not comfortable just giving money to somebody. I mean, what if this is some kind of like crazy deal? I mean, the mob used to be in Las Vegas. We're just transferring money from one person to another. What if we get involved in some kind of like big crime scandal? I don't know. I'm, I'm, are you comfortable with that? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to leave the money here. We're going to leave the money in the safe. We're going to find this red suit person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're going to make them talk to us. We're going to say, you have to tell us what is going on right now. And then if we find out this is all okay, then we'll give them money. But right now we're going to leave the money in the room. But what did he mean by the pink twin sisters? I have no idea. I mean, wait a second. What? Do you think these flamingos? Oh, They're no way. Pink twin? No, what? What is that? Was that there before? I know. What is that? They're kind of like earbuds. I think they're like spy earbud walkie-talkies. Okay, so maybe we use these to communicate with each other as we're at the Grammys trying to find Red Suit. Okay, let's try it, I guess. Let's go to the Grammys. Okay, guys, so we came here to the Grammys where we got the voice memo from who we thought was Gold Mask. Gold Mask, Mr. Gold. We're supposed to be looking for someone in a red suit. They said something about the Hunger Games exhibit, so we're here outside the Hunger Games exhibit, and we have these spy gadgets he gave us. Yeah, so we can okay. hear each other. Can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. So okay. we're gonna split up and look for red suit. All of this before we go to the Grammys. This is crazy. This is so nuts. Okay, here we go. I'm going down this escalator here at the Hunger Games exhibit. Let's see what happens. I don't see anyone down here. I mean, there's some people, but it looks pretty abandoned. I don't think Red Suit would be down here. <laughs> there's a green suit, a Hunger Games suit, but it's definitely not Red Suit. I've got nothing down here. What do you have up there? Okay, Laura, I know they said that it would be around the Hunger Games exhibit, but I figure maybe this is still kind of an area by the ballroom where everybody enters. Um, I'm just looking at everybody going by, but I haven't seen anyone in a Red Suit yet. Have you seen anybody? I'm going to see a guy in a Red Suit. Excuse me, sir. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, go talk to him. Go talk to him. Morning, Mr. Gold. I thought I was crazy. I didn't want to film him. I didn't have his permission. It obviously wasn't him, so it's not just any guy in a red suit. We had to find this guy in a red suit. <sighs> okay, we'll just have to keep looking, I guess. Guys, we're not finding anyone. I didn't find anybody. Yeah, me neither. What do we do now? I don't know, but we got to do more show. It's going to start soon, so. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> So we had so much fun at the Grammys last night. It was incredible. The performances were amazing. All except for all that debacle at the very beginning where Mr. Gold was trying to get us to give that money to Red Suit. And then he found out we didn't have the money. I don't know how he knew we didn't bring the money with us. Obviously, we didn't want to just give some money to some random person. We decided to just go and have a great time, which we did. Now we're back in our hotel room. So we're just going to have another fun day in Vegas. Let's see what the, the gold cylinder thing was about. Oh, you want to like check it out? Yeah, yeah. Maybe that'll okay. have some more clues or something so like. The gold cylinder was just in the safe with the money. We just locked it all up in here. <sighs> Wait. Adam, it's gone. What? It's all gone. $10,000. It's, there's nothing in here. Are you serious? The money? They just did, came in here and took it? Did they take it? As, what about our I other know. stuff? The purse is still there. My laptop. Okay, all my stuff is here. I guess I guess they just came for that only. I, I mean, it was never ours in the first place. It wasn't our money. We didn't ask for this. Wait, wait, wait. 
I just got another email. It's from that same anonymous Al email. It says, you made Red Suit very mad when you didn't bring the money. He came to the room and took the money and the gold cylinder. He just came in here? Well, how did he know we didn't have the money? How did he get in here? How did he open the safe? This doesn't make any sense. Anyway, it says, I need you to retrieve that gold cylinder. I placed a tracker on it. He dropped it at these what? coordinates. If you retrieve this, you'll be rewarded. Okay. I, I, I don't want to, I don't think we should get involved in this. No, we have to. I mean, I, they just came in our room when we didn't do what they said I know, before. That's like really scary. I know. So we have to go get it. What What are the coordinates? Let's see if I punch these in. It says it's here on the property, but it's like it's, not here, here. It's like out there. I guess it must be in the pool area. In the pool? Okay. Okay, I guess we'll just go down there and figure it out. Okay. Okay, you guys, we're here at the pool and we think the coordinates are leading us to this waterfall. We think the cylinder must be under the waterfall, so we have to dive into the pool and get the gold cylinder. Okay, you ready? No, I'm not gonna do it. You have to do it. What? I'm gonna do it. I'm not a good swimmer. Adam, you know that. You have to do it. Ugh. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, I really hope it's in here because this water is really cold. Here we go. This is huge. There's like four stories and so much stuff in here. We have to try to find this clue, but I don't even know where we could even. We have to find something that makes sense for us. Adam, I found these personalized mugs, so maybe it has something to do with our names. So maybe we can find the mug with our name on it. They only have Lauren. Okay, let's look for your name. Okay, they've got to have Adam, right? Yeah, so we do have my name right here. Let's check. Anything? Should I try the yellow one? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's nudity. That must be our next clue. New York, New York. Let's go to the New York, New York Hotel. Let's go. So that's the New York, New York Hotel. Let's go over there and uh, see if we can figure out this clue. Hey guys, we're here at the New York, New York Hotel. We were hoping we can figure out what this clue is. I mean, this is a huge hotel. Hopefully we can find it. We've got to get to the airport soon, though. We have been all over this New York, New York Hotel. We haven't found any clues yet, but we heard there's a giant New York store. We're going to check that out next. Let's go. That's like a saying though. I love New York. Okay. Think, maybe we should try that. No, that's not gonna work. Why? Because there's only six spots and I love New York would be seven. So uh, I could do okay. like I love in. I love you? Try you, the letter U. It's the letter U? Yeah, see, that's six. Okay. What's in there? What's up, besties? We found a gold cylinder from Mr. Gold, and what was inside was this, this Lord of the Rings ring. Yeah, and then we got a voicemail once we got back to LA from Mr. Gold telling us to come here to Savannah, Georgia. We'll play it for you. Adam and Laura, I need you to take the ring you acquired to Savannah, Georgia, where you will encounter one Nathaniel Green at the most haunted place in Savannah. Drop off the ring before midnight on Saturday. So we're supposed to deliver this ring to some guy named Nathaniel Green at the most haunted place in Savannah? I don't even know what the most haunted place in Savannah is. And we don't know who Nathaniel Green is, but for now, just put it on, because the last thing we want to do is we don't want to lose it, you know right. what I mean? All right, so I think we're going to start off with the library. I'm done with this! I'm over this! I don't want to do this anymore! Wait, what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with YouTube. It's over. Wait, what? I'm done! What are you talking about? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? Why are you acting so crazy right now? I'm crazy? I'm not crazy! You know what? Take that ring off. No! Just take the ring off for a second. You look fine. 
What just happened? I, I don't know. It's gotta be this ring. I don't think we should wear this anymore. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get to the library and get this figured out. We, we gotta figure out where to deliver this thing. Yeah. Let's go. So we are outside of Bull Street Library in Savannah. We're trying to research what is the most haunted place in Savannah. We figured the best place to do that is the library. Let's go. We found out that there are three of the most haunted places in Savannah are Pirate House Restaurant, Lucas Theater, the Marshall House Hotel. We're gonna go check all those out. But the craziest thing that we found out is that the Nathaniel Green guy that we're supposed to meet and give this ring to is dead. 235 years ago to the day, actually, he died. Tonight, we're supposed to meet this guy. We're gonna go try to figure it out. Wait, so does that mean we have to talk to? A ghost. Okay, you guys, if we're gonna be communicating with a ghost, then we are gonna need the proper gear. And luckily, I love ghost hunting stuff. Even though I'm not so scared of it, but I know what to get. And then we need dousing rods, and those are in order to communicate with the ghosts. We need an EMF meter to detect if they're around in the area, the electromagnetic waves. And then we also need a ghost app on our phone. How do you know all this? I love ghosts, but I'm also scared of them. Okay, it is sunset and we are in downtown Savannah. As you know, we're supposed to meet Nathaniel Green and drop off this ring before midnight tonight. We're starting at the Marshall House. Like this was a hotel and it operated as a war hospital during the Civil War and also for some children during the Yellow Fever. So a lot of like not super happy endings have occurred there. Yeah, a lot of people have had haunted experiences there. For example, one of the spooky stories is that there's a picture of Mary Marshall, one of the owners of the Marshall House, painted in the 1800s. This little girl said that she saw her in the hallway, but she's been dead for years. I downloaded it an app, it's an EMF reader or any kind of activity if it's nearby, so we'll find out. These bells are so creepy, you guys. All right, let's go. Sunset, let's go. Okay, you guys, so I've got the EMF reader going. Let's go see what we find out. Okay, you guys, Adam said he just got a really high reading, right? Yeah, it just went like super high. There's something, I think there's something in this area. I don't think we can go in there. I know, we're like off the charts. I think there must be some of those like yellow fever children. All right, you guys, if these cross, that means something is telling you yes. If they go out, it means something is saying no. Is there anyone here right now? Okay, what? who's that, who's that? I've never used these before. <laughs> I've seen a ghost tour use them. Okay, is Nathaniel Green here? I, I have to Somebody know. else. Are you a kid? Are you a man? Are you a woman? Okay, so it's not a thing you're playing. I have chips. Let me go. Let's get out of here. Okay, we are on our way to the pirate house. It's a haunted restaurant. People say that they've seen Spirits of pirates, there are tunnels that run under the restaurant. Let's go. You guys, so we are here at the pirate house. And what they used to do is they used to take pirates who had gotten in fights or who hadn't paid their tab and they would take them out through the tunnels and send them back out to the river and put them on a boat. So we're gonna go in here and try to film. I don't think we're really allowed to. Let's go. Okay guys, so it was super busy in there. I don't think we're gonna be able to pick up any kind of activity because there's just too much going on. So we came out around the perimeter of the building. I'm running the EMF reader and it's starting to climb. Look at this, it's starting to like get higher right by this. It's so creepy looking. The memorial thing is, I don't even know. So it's got all these like shells and everything. Maybe this is where we're supposed to leave the ring for Nathaniel Green. Maybe, I mean, this is a really high reading. That's going pretty wild. Is there anyone here? <gasps> okay, reset. Are you male? Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, is your name Nathaniel Green? No, another one. You guys, this is crazy. I swear I'm not making these at all. Are you good? <gasps> okay, so that at least it's a good ghost. Okay, good. Do you know where Nathaniel Green is? Nothing. Okay, so okay. he's clearly not here, but some good ghost is here, so thank you, ghost. Um, and I guess we'll move on to the next location. All right, let's go. Okay, besties, we haven't had any luck so far, but we're really hoping this Lucas Theater is the place where we're gonna meet Nathaniel Green and drop off this ring. We cannot keep this ring. It's literally making us go crazy. So we've got to make this drop off and fast. So we're here, we're coming over here to the Lucas Theater. This is one of the most haunted places in Savannah. It's really kind of our last hope, so we're hoping that we get some sort of activity here, because as you can see, it's dark out, it's almost midnight. Let's go check it out. Adam, it's locked. 
doors are locked, I can't get in. Okay, so we're just gonna have to do everything out here, okay? Okay, sounds good. Okay, um, get your EMF reader. Let's see if we can get any kind of a reading here. All right, let's get started. Okay, Laura, there's some really strong readings on the EMF reader right now. Okay, so switch over to that other app, the Ghost Communicator app. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna ask it questions, like typically yes or no questions. Is Nathaniel Green here? Wait, that sounds like a no, right? Yeah, do you hear that? Yeah. Do you know where Nathaniel Green is? Did you, oh, I said I heard like it sounded like an S. Was that a yes? Okay, this is normally supposed to be like yes or no questions, but maybe just uh, just ask it. We'll just see what happens. Um, okay. Ask yeah. where Sounds where good. he is. Ask where he is. Yeah, ask where. Do Nathaniel you know where Nathaniel Green is? Do you hear anything? Kind of. Does that does it say square? I think it said square. There's Reynolds Square right there. Okay. Right How many squares. squares are there? There's a bunch. There's like a bunch down here. Okay, I'm Googling Nathaniel Green Square. Let's see what comes up. Wait, Nathaniel Green Monument in Savannah, Georgia. Johnson Square. It's a Johnson Square. Okay, let's go find Johnson Square. We're running out of time. It's almost okay, up. Wait, I think he might have been buried there. What? Buried at Johnson Square. Okay, we have to go to Johnson Square. That's got to be it. Okay, let's go let's find go. it. Let's go. We gotta go. It's almost midnight. We gotta hurry. Wait, wait, wait. Laura, Laura, Laura. Is that it? No, that's not it. That's the it. Adam, it's almost right here. This is it. It says Nathaniel Green. I can't believe it. I can't believe we didn't find this earlier. Okay, I'm gonna grab the dousing rods. This has gotta be it. We've gotta make the drop off here. I got the dousing rods out. I'm gonna see if he is here. Nathaniel Green, are you here? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, this is so crazy. We found him. Can I put the ring at the monument? What? No way. Okay, okay, this is it. Okay, I have the ring. Let me get it out. Don't go crazy this time. Okay, I've got the ring. I'm just gonna place it in front of this monument. All right, Nathaniel Green, there's your ring. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? Are we just supposed to wait here? Like, how is a ghost gonna come and take this ring? Like, I don't know. I, what, do we leave? Do we stay? I, I don't. I don't know. And, and I definitely is, don't want to see a ghost. Is Mr. Gold around? Is he watching us? You know, uh, Mr. Gold. If you can see, like, we delivered the ring. Adam, it's gone. What? What is that? Adam, the ring is gone. It's just this creepy doll. Oh my gosh, that thing kind of looks like Belle, but like a creepy version. Is it because I play Belle on BFF Besties?